cousin. The winner of this battle will control the Central Plains. If we can get past their massive army, that is. Father, don't tell me you're afraid. I am being used as bait. Clearly, I am not afraid of Yuan Shao. Willing to use your father as a decoy. You're quite a piece of work. Brother, I hope you are okay. You remember how Ho Chung defected to us at Xia Pi? Yuan Shao's army is supposed to have an officer of unparalleled elegance. But what kind of warrior wants to be elegant? Yuan Shao and our lord were old friends. I wonder where it all went wrong. I don't trust that Guan Yu. You can't just switch sides that easily. Lord Cao Cao looks happy. The enemy numbers are immense, and surely they will have even more reinforcements lying in wait. However, though we may be outnumbered, we possess the superior skill. If everybody gives their all, then we are sure to emerge victorious. Lord Zhang Liao has become one of us now. It's hard to believe he used to work for Lu Bu. Using our lord as a decoy. I've never heard of such an audacious plan. Lord Zhao Xu is certainly interesting, is he not? Momentum is with our lord. If he can repel Yuan Shao, total domination may be close at hand. Begin the march before the enemy reinforcements can arrive. Understood. We must remain patient, Lord South. Our men and fire have come through. 
The pincer attack is working perfectly. <laughs> Shao has 
some who are willing to work for him. Oh, you're so mean. He's not that bad, really. <laughs> Well, I cannot allow you to outshine me. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. Report! It seems that the enemy reinforcements have arrived. Now we're talking. Things are starting to get interesting. My lord. Zhu Yo sends a message. He says he wishes to surrender to you. <laughs> Excellent. Lord Cao Cao, this should be most edifying. Hmm. Bring him to see me. It seems that the strategy is in place. At last, I can see an end to this battle. Hmm. Never did I expect that you would trust that man so implicitly. I need to make use of him. If only for Dian Wei's sake. I cannot look past the suffering of one to whom I am obligated. I must fight for Lord Cao Cao. Lord Guan Yu is nice to have on our side, but he doesn't seem very glad to be here. I hear Lord Xu Yo used to work for Yuan Shao. They say he wasn't much use. He'll be useful this time. We can always dump him once he's served his purpose. When Lord Jia Xu's thinking of a plan, he looks so manipulative and nasty, he scares me, to be honest. The strength of Guan Yu is amazing. To think that such warriors exist outside the realm of fantasy. Lord Zhang Liao is a devotee of Lord Guan Yu. He says we could all learn much from him. My lord. I dabble in divination, and I must tell you, you will have a life-changing encounter today. I hear Chen Lin wrote a slanderous letter about your father, my lord. How terrible. With an army that size, it must be difficult to keep them fed. Xu Yo will lead us to their supply depot. If we burn it to the ground, then victory is as good as ours. The supply depot is located at Wu Chao. It is possible to get them to open the gate. But we will need to make the necessary preparations. Please give me some time. Very well. I shall go and buy you the time you need. It may take a while for Xu Yo to arrive. We should clear him a path at least. My lord, we need to destroy the enemy siege towers. Perhaps the catapult will work.
Suyo is ready. We must make for Wu Chao and escort him to safety. Up ahead, the road forks. If you go straight ahead, ambush troops will be lying in wait. But if you go left, there is a cliff. Climb that, and you should be able to sneak up behind them. Hmm. Now the question is, can we trust Xu Yo? I leave the decision to you, Lord Zhao Pi. The enemy is right below us. We could jump down and surprise them. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall seek. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. Your effort in battle is impressive. Shu Yo, you have betrayed us. You know the punishment for treachery. Shu Yo's under attack. Mind you, when she's doing the attacking, it doesn't seem so bad. Not just a pretty face, I know your limitations. I will spare your life. You must come with me. You have bested me. But if you intend to defile my honor, then I will take my own life here. I intend to take you as my wife. If that thought dismays you, then by all means take your life. I accept. I will stand by your side, my lord. This is a critical battle. We will hold the enemy with our tactics. I shall return! Remember that! For yours is the first head I shall see! As you 
Yuan Shao's life goes up in flames. Want to be turned to ash too? No! Or will you be a beacon that lights up this land? Very well. I shall burn with righteous fervor for you! Cao Cao is on the move. Come, Lord Cao Pi. We must hurry to join him. Everybody, I ask that you charge the enemy main camp so that we may bring an end to this battle. should be taken seriously, or they will ultimately lead to control of the land. You think you can outsmart me? Don't make me laugh. Guan Yu, I'm so glad you're safe. Come, we have so much to catch up on. Brother, I am sorry, but I cannot join you yet. Not until I have repaid my debt to Lord Cao Cao. We cannot hold out any longer. The wisest course of action would be to regroup and fight another day. You will learn to regret this moment. Not even fit to share the battlefield. Your effort in battle is impressive. Oh, your efforts are dazzling. You shall see me shine as well. Oh, yes! To them now! Stand by! A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. My spirit! Onward to victory! Necessarily to lose. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. You believe your wits are a match for mine? An impressive display. My men and I will join you on this road to victory. my troops doing? There can be no defeat for the glorious Yuan! It is impossible! It's all over if you lose a battle! 
do anything it takes to win. Your skills are super magnificent. South South's worthless offspring. You are no match for me, boy. You have come this far. In honor of that, I shall face you myself. You... You thief! Show some respect to your betters. Ah! Do you forget the nobility of my station? Your insolence will not be forgotten! The Yuan have been set on the road to ruin. Yuan Shao has passed away. The Central Plains are now under our control. Many years have passed since Guan Du. It took longer than I had hoped. But Father, the war is not over yet. Of course not. Our dominion must be recognized by all. Another relic of the past has died. The new age of my father is at hand. But, one day his time too will pass. Father, the future that you seek, your dreams, are they the same as my own? Due to the efforts of Cao Pi, heir to the Cao throne, and many others, Yuan Shao was eliminated. With Hebei and the Central Plains under his control, Cao Cao had amassed the largest force in the land. Next, he turned his steely gaze toward the south. There, the major figures included Liu Biao in Jing, Liu Zhang in Yi, and Sun Quan in Jiangdong. Cao Cao decided to attack Jing as his first target. Liu Biao was killed during the initial attack, and his successor Liu Zong agreed to surrender to Cao Cao. However, Cao Cao did not let down his guard and continued to advance his army to Jing. The people of Jing trembled in fear before him. Without a doubt, Liu Bei would feel pity for the people and throw himself into the fray. Learning of Liu Bei's whereabouts, Guan Yu left Cao Cao and went to rejoin his sworn brother. Together with the peasants, Guan Yu fled from Cao Cao's advance and made his way toward Jiangling. This time, Cao Cao was determined to put an end to the meddling Liu Bei and finally realize his ambition. To that end, he would go to any lengths necessary. Cao Cao ordered Zhang Liao to give pursuit. For it was now that the hero of chaos was about to transform into something decidedly less heroic. Liu Bei must be killed. Cut down any who impede you! My lord, Liu Bei's army features many who are not soldiers, but mere peasants. They have chosen to side with him of their own free will. Therefore, they are our enemy. Soldier or peasant, it matters not. Do not forget, you are my blade. I choose who you cut and 
whose blood will stain. Lord Zhang Liao, we have sighted the enemy rearguard. Yes, it is time for me to take to the battlefield. Liu Bei is fleeing to the south with the people of Jing province. We must fly after him. 